You wouldn't have enough to buy a new one. <laughs> you wouldn't have enough to get to next week. I'm pretty sure the number one reason for retirement in Smash 4 is controllers are too damn expensive. But either way. $100 for a controller. Uh, yeah, I guess. $100? Come on. $100 for a controller that might last like four years. Well, it depends on that how you to. use it. Oh, well, you don't have to do it that much. Yeah, I know. Unless you're Luigi, man, then well, yeah. vibrating your uh, biceps. Longer, probably. Okay, oh, but so we got we're starting town, I think. Esports Arena Blade versus yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fun Me Advo. Fun Me Advo. <laughs> he starts off with judgment. Alrighty, you know. If, I mean, I'm if judging it was, him. If I'm it was a nine, then he got it. But yeah, yeah, I mean, fair enough. Actually, he missed. So if it was a nine, then still, I would have questioned him. Right? Yeah. Oh. God. That was cute. I like the footstool. Yeah. I don't know if you could have got more out of it, but it was cute. Uh, oh. We're I think you could have if Blade didn't DI down the shield. What are the odds of him getting five two times in a row? Five what? He got five two times in a row. What are the odds of that? Well, there's, there's two one in nine chances to go off of that. Okay. Okay. Like one in 81? No. Anyway, I'm bad at math. Um. Uh, <laughs> well, the question of whether he gets five, two fives in a row is a little bit more complicated than that. Anyway, right. um, <laughs> so we have Avo back to his, uh, ooh. The reverse hit. He needs to be careful, because I'm pretty sure coming up soon, he's going to want to start looking for 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. So he's just kind of like... Probably, what, another 8% or Once so? he dies to this, I think. Actually, it might be online now with the rage. Yeah, oh. okay. But he tried to jump, but that was... You can only... Uh, I, you have to like react with like air dodge. Oh, so he must have been pretty far away if he did the two pummels there. Yeah, I, he might have passed it actually. Oh, that's also true. You can tell when he passes it based off of, like his play style because he stopped like sort of fishing for grabs when he's then like observing his hits and instead just goes for like more rogue attacks because it's really hard for Game Watch to get the kill when he's outside of um, those windows. Two -two range, yeah. yeah. So is there like a website for Game & Watch, like winning with DK? Uh, Competing with Advo? <laughs> Just you, yeah. <laughs> okay. You are such a problem Oh, this is terrible. Oh. Okay, that was terrifying. Uh, so yeah, Advo doesn't really know what he wants to do here, I think. But the only thing that he's only totally played with is a uh, rogue smash attack, or like a prop Ooh. rage guard, or a rogue tilt. Give him the chain. It wasn't really rogue. Let's see what Evo does. 81% behind. His ledge play, man. I mean, you can't really gimp Sheik, so that's kind of off the table. Uh, you can. I mean, it's really hard. Uh, okay. That's fair. It looks like Avo's just trying to play the ledge. And... Oh. Because he's definitely in this. The hardest part for Game Watch is definitely when they are outside of 2 2 window, but everything else is like pretty free. He just like did this. 83 damage to a like this. This, was, this was pretty free. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you can get the grab, then that's it, but Blade might edge guard him here. Oh, oh, he's got a. Oh, that was smart. I thought Blade was that, gonna. Ooh. ooh, nice guess. Oh, oh, this is when the uh, the uh, the Mario impersonations come out. Whoa! I think, yeah, he's not. Oh God, why did he go oh, for that? Oh God! Hammer? Oh, that's it. What was that? That, that was a uh, Game and Watch. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what Blade was trying to do there. Mr. Game and Watch. Oh, that means I have to play Sandman next. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do what did. Uh, Let's rewatch. Him. I really oh, yeah. want to know what he was actually going for there. So you, you I guess he was him. hoping that he was sleeping, maybe. I guess. Cause... Three, yeah, he was just hoping that he was sleeping. One, anyway, the game started. Yep. Whew. Started with down so. I guess the call was short out there. Yeah. And Blaze is going for straight bread and butter, or so about the fish. And uh, Game Watch going for his bread and butter's dash tag. Uh, <laughs> with, with all that bad dash tag. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is very similar to Game 1. It's just, you know, uh, she compressing, but, you know, let's see how uh, the Game Watch adapts. So, Blade needs to be really careful, though, because that's where Avo gets a lot of his percents, it's like conversions from the ledge, and he's probably one of the best ledge flankers in Michigan, honestly. Oh, that could have been it. Yeah. Actually, Ooh. yeah. Oh. Tried to, uh... Oh, this slide that card, but didn't... 
get anything out of it. Yeah, oh. yeah, he's still, okay. He's, he might still be in it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that could have been it for both of them. Ooh. Oh, God, this is terrifying. Uh -oh. okay. Well, it's not Spaghetti and Avo's part, but it was, uh, wasn't the greatest interaction. Ooh. Oh, that's the hidden attack that I guess a lot of people has been doing for a while, I just never noticed. Jab, jab into anything. Oh, yeah, jab, jab makes it a real sheet, depending on the character. Oh, yeah. I goes for F, I guess. Oh. So, we don't get another chair kill? Maybe. Or oh, dash attack. The dash attack. Okay. This is not looking good for our one of our radiant heroes. Yes, for one of the two radiant heroes. God. But, uh, let's see what Blade does. This is the first time he's been behind, really. He's probably looking for needles. To... No. Probably needles to bounce. Yeah, not having any rage, you know. Looking for a bouncy fish of some sort to finish off the stock. Maybe a back air out there. There oh, it is. That might be it, yeah. That was really good, because he wait he because instead of like letting it rip like immediately, he decided to just like play really slow at the ledge to make him feel like more comfortable about well getting more acquainted with like how he's gonna deal with that. No oh, yeah, and when you're at a high percent or death percent, people are trying to move faster and not slow down things. So Advo was just sitting there. But whew. the blade is actually turning this around really hard. No oh, yeah. But once again, Advo was here last game and he ended up with a W, so let's see what happens. Yeah, but I don't think oh. Blade's gonna make the same mistake twice here. He knows he just needs to play it slow. Dash Hack gets him in, but let's see if he gets any more pressure off this advantage state. Oh, that uh, up he looked like it was angled for some reason. I guess he, oh. I, I guess he thought he would go in. <laughs> if he bucketed that, that would have been hilarious. Oh, uh, what? Oh! Okay. I guess he's saving it. Uh, oh, that won't do it, though. He thought he could get a follow-up after that. Uh, I don't know. I think the Uppy, he probably, if it was going to get any follow-up, it would have been Uppy, and it would have killed him and connected, but I think, oh, yeah. I think it would have been like a 50-50, and it wasn't worth risking at <gasps> that point. Oh. You don't want to jump when you get up. You don't want to jump in the win box of up air at too high a percent. That's Bad not it. <gasps> oh my yeah. god. Oh, oh my. That almost killed too. Oh, see, all these moves are going to look like this. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You don't jump when you... If you're getting hit by a win box and you jump there, then you just, like, you can just die if you're at a high percent. Yeah, apparently. Oh. Reminds you of one of your fateful back ears against him at one point. Huh? Remember, uh, what was it?